find the patience of our own not hit it hard. Like, yeah. You're spring petty, bro. Nah, you can't top it up with y'all niggas, bro. No cap. I ain't posting on my shit forever. I know y'all niggas probably like, damn, where this nigga been at? It's a lot of y'all niggas probably thinking they fell off on YouTube and shit. I really like, don't care what them type of niggas think. But nah, bro, some real shit. I'm finna chop it up with y'all niggas, let y'all niggas know what I've been on. I need to stop saying niggas so much, bro. Let y'all niggas know what I've been on, why I ain't been on YouTube, why all my video private and all that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. I'm trying to make this shit, make this shit happen. Now look, off the real. You know when I hopped on YouTube, bro? I um, I was rapping first, my nigga. Like, like I be telling people this all the time, bro. A lot of people think I hopped on YouTube and start rapping afterwards. Like, no, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was rapping before I got on YouTube, but my music wasn't going nowhere. And as you can see, I'm cold as hell. So I was like, bro, why my shit not going nowhere, bro? Like, I literally got songs on SoundCloud from like four, five years ago, like a long ass time ago, bro. I'm like eighth grade. You know what I'm saying? So I've been trying to make music for the longest. And I'm like, bro, my shit not going nowhere, bro. I'm looking everywhere I go. Niggas popping, like, like niggas just popping off, niggas blowing up and shit. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, what's taking? Like, what's taking me so long? You know what I'm saying? Then I, I start to notice everybody that's blowing up. Weirdos. Like, no disrespect, no cap to you. But like, no, no, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to hate on you, but you a weirdo. Niggas be dying their hair and shit, motherfuckers get pointless ass tattoos before I get a Cheerio or a Fruity Pebble tattooed on their face and then they blow up. So I'm like, what the fuck? Me type of nigga I am. As you can see, bro, I don't, I don't have no tattoos, bro. You get what I'm saying? And it ain't because I got nothing against them. It's just because that's not me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm one of them niggas, my skin, like, I feel like my, if you ask me, you ask your lady, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my skin clear as hell. Like, I'm one of the, one of the sexiest niggas walking, bro. You feel me? So I don't want to put, I don't need no tattoos, bro. And then again, I don't want to look like all y'all niggas. You get what I'm saying? So that's just not me. Like some shit just not for certain people. Like down my hair and shit. Like I remember when I was young, I used to want to do that. But I was raised over my daddy them in my life. So my daddy them, I remember when Mohawks was popping. I was like, bro, I want a Mohawk. My daddy them, boy, if you don't get the fuck, hell nah, nigga. You get what I'm saying? So like I really got a whole different vibe with me, bro. Like, I'm not the type of nigga to just do some shit because the whole world and the whole, all oh, y'all, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that type of nigga, as you can see, you feel me? So, I'm not finna do that shit, bro. Like, I'm gonna go hard and do it out, you feel me? Like, my music. So, I see niggas popping. I, I get on YouTube, and it wasn't nobody really rapping doing YouTube. Like, I, I don't, not that I know of, you get what I'm saying? Like, when I hopped on the hell, I just seen niggas like, like, like niggas rocking with niggas off the the type of person they is. Like, you literally get on YouTube, make a video, and niggas be like, oh, bro, I fuck with this nigga. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, that shit hard. Then, I ain't even know you really get paid like that off the rip. Like, I did, I promised to God I didn't know. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, that shit hard. I'm gonna make me a YouTube channel, bro. And I know this rappers post their videos on YouTube. So if I'm popping on YouTube and I post my music on YouTube, my shit gonna blow for sure. Like, it ain't got no, no choice but to blow. So my whole point of doing YouTube was to, you know, rap. So I started making YouTube videos and blase blase and my shit started going up, right? When I first got on YouTube, my oldest video, brother hoes, I thought you had to be like like prop. You know what I'm saying? Like get on the top and be like, how's it going guy? So I was that type of nigga when I first got on the show. And then I seen B Lou and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Niggas being they self. So I started doing me. Long story short, I got on this bitch star rap. My shit started popping, I started making music, right? So fast forward a couple years, we get to right now, right? My shit start popping. I make a couple songs. I make visa, no discussion. My shit start doing numbers. So I'm like, oh yeah, now it's time to turn up, bro. Like, and one thing I want to tell y'all, bro, because it's a lot of niggas that hit me up and be like, bro, you motivated me to do YouTube. Like, like, shot. It's a couple niggas I can name, but like, one of the biggest niggas popping right now. They did that shit with my nigga Hot Boy Malik. Like, that nigga reached out to me a while ago. And they were like, bro, uh, bro, you motivated a nigga to do this shit. Like, blase, blase. And that my nigga, like, 200K subscribers. You know what I'm saying? That shit hard. Like, seeing, seeing niggas come up like that, I always been the type of nigga. I never been the type of nigga hate on somebody. Like, you even say that in the Bible. You shouldn't. You feel me? Like, one with a nigga, another nigga got. Like, I'm not even that type of nigga. I'm the type of nigga wait my turn. You feel me? It's niggas that, like I said, niggas was blowing up before my eyes. And I'm like, bro, they weirdos. You know what I'm saying? But I never hated. I'm just like, bro, that's crazy hell. You feel me? But anyway. What I was saying, um, I started doing my uh, shit and, you know, making my music, making my video. One thing I want to tell y'all niggas, bro, if you doing something by yourself, bro, and solo and independent and, like, just making moves by yourself, bro, keep it like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't need, like, muff, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm telling you firsthand, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I talk to labels all the time, bro. I can show you emails right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, labels been trying to side me, bro. Your favorite labels, like, my nigga, Polo G label, um... Right when they signed Polo G, Columbia, I think he signed in Columbia. 
Nigga, Columbia hit me up. You feel me? Like the A and R, I ain't gonna say no names, but she hit me up personally in my in my DM. It was like, what you got going on? I'm trying to fly you out here to um. Damn, what's, what city? Is it New York? I think it was New York. I'm trying to fly you to New York. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But so many other labels that hit me up by that time, like, it's probably the biggest one. But I was like, bro, that's crazy. And then at that point in time, I was really trying to, nigga, I've been going so hard at this shit for years. Nigga, I'm like, hell yeah, bro, let me make some, let me get on this shit, let me get on that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, and then I ended up not getting on that shit. You feel me? But anyway, like right now, I'm independent, bro. I'm not signing nobody. You feel me? I probably did some partnerships, got a partnership going on, but that's all business moves. And type person I am, at the experience, and, you know, working with brands and labels and companies and businesses and shit like that, I'm not, I'm not signing to no label, bro. I'm not. You get what I'm saying? Because the type of nigga I am, bro, I'm not no kiss up type person. You feel me? Like, I'm not that type person. And I feel like, like, wait, wait. When you work with big ass labels, like right now, right? My nigga, uh, I got a homeboy that rap. He say he signed the Atlantic and shit. And they, they, they on some bullshit. Like, them niggas talk to you. He, he gotta reach out to them. They respond when they wanna respond. Bro, I'm not that type of nigga, bro. <laughs> the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I ain't no way he don't sign to no label. If that's how they rocking, I'm not signed to no label, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm not even a rapper. That's why I say, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a rapper, I'm not none of that, bro. I'm an entrepreneur, bro, I'm a hustler, bro, I'm a go-getter, bro. You get what I'm saying? So anything I feel like sound right ain't gonna make me some money or, or make put me in a situation to go hard, sign me up, nigga, what the fuck? As long as it ain't no weird, no weird shit and no, no gay shit, I ain't no homophobe, but I'm just not gay, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So as long as it ain't no shit like that, sign me up. You feel me? That's why I say I'm not a rapper. I'm not a YouTube, I'm not an artist, I'm not none of that shit, my nigga. I'm a hustler, bro. You feel me? So label me as that, my nigga. You feel me? So, like I was saying, I'm not, I don't even, bro. As I'm getting closer to the rap game, I don't even think I wanna go that route. You feel me? Like, my music go hard, and I'm not gonna stop doing music because that's my passion. Like, God ain't give me this talent for nothing. Like, I could, bro, I'm hard as fuck. Like, people be hearing my music, be like, bro, you sound like an industry nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, and when you let a, another nigga in your, in your mix, bro, niggas will fuck up what you got going. You get what I'm saying? They probably, they probably uh, boost what you got going on, but they can also fuck it up too. You get what I'm saying? Because you got a vision. Everybody got their own vision, man. You got your own two eyes. I'm blind as the fuck. Nigga, I got glasses right here, contacts, and some old shit. You probably see 10 times better than me. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say, everybody's sight different, everybody vision different, everybody got their own... Ain't too many niggas thought about getting on here to like it's a couple niggas that's rapping right now, right? Like like DDG, for example, he's one of the biggest niggas that's rapping on this bitch. But he hopped on here as a YouTuber and then started rapping. You get what I'm saying? So his vision was different. Like he hopped on YouTube and he probably always, I'm not saying he didn't want to rap, he probably wanted to rap, but he hopped on here as a he's a YouTuber. You feel me? When I hopped on this bitch, I was rapping, bro. Like my whole school knew me for at lunch freestyling. I've been the hardest nigga freestyling since middle school and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? So everybody vision different, bro. And my I've been doing this shit for like, for me to come in the game as hard as I was going, bro. Like my first three songs, hard as fuck. Like no hiding, visa, no disguise. I'm talking about this my first time getting in the studio. For me to hop in going this fucking hard, bro, I'm supposed to be on somebody's billboard right now. You know what I'm saying? But I don't even think I want to be on nobody's billboard, bro. You feel me? Because that shit ain't what y'all niggas think. Like, I, that's, that's some weirdo shit. You feel me? Like, I ain't, I ain't got time to be kissing up to nobody doing that bullshit. You feel me? Like, personally, I'm not. So, like I said, I'm in a partnership right now. I'll probably continue doing that because I'm already in that shit. And, you know what I'm saying? I rock with them niggas. But as far as a label and some more shit, bro, I'm not that type of nigga. I'm not no kiss up type of nigga. You feel me? So, I hopped off YouTube because I'm like, if I make reaction video, right? <clears throat> think about it. Like, right now, my nigga YB and Roddy Rich Beef, right? And then as you get older, bro, you really start giving a fuck about other. I had to make sure that I was still recording. You really stop getting a fuck about the other nigga shit, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm 21 years old, bro. I'm finna be 22. Y'all niggas probably ain't even know that. Bro, what the fuck do I look like getting on camera every day talking about some, uh, some other nigga shit? You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it probably don't seem like that to y'all, but when you rapping, bro, you around a whole bunch of street. Like, this, it, it's, it depends on what you doing. You get what I'm saying? And if you know about that, that type of shit, bro, you ain't supposed to be speaking on another nigga shit, bro. Like, it ain't even your business, you feel me? But since it's music, you could do that. Because you just giving your input on music, so it ain't too much of a problem. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I was saying, my nigga Roddy Rich and YB beefing, right? When I seen that, I was like, damn, bro, that crazy. Them niggas probably went, would have went hard as hell on the song. But that's just how it is, bro. Like, them niggas probably ain't even had no competition, no none of that, you feel me? But the, the social media probably turned into some shit like that or whatever. You feel me? But they, they beef. So let's say there's us. Let's say I post a cover art and it look like YB shit, right? And then YB come out and say, it's only one YB. What the fuck 
do I look like? What the fuck do I look like coming back saying, talking? Some, my nigga, you were just on the damn on the laptop making a hundred videos to that nigga shit. I, mean, I, I can't say shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm automatically gonna be looking like a goof. You can go look at a hundred videos of me sitting up here to another nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like, bro. I can't even be. Uh, and then they gonna take niggas like that to do that. I really don't give a fuck how a nigga take. Cause like I told y'all, bro, I came up different. You feel me? Like my daddy always told me the loudest nigga be the weakest motherfucker. So I be chilling, I be quiet, low key doing my own thing in the first place. You feel me? But it's just a lot of things you gotta look at and adjust, bro. But I also was thinking like, bro, I got a lot of supporters that I'm letting down. So I'm really just like in a, like I'm really just like in a mix, bro. You feel me? I'm like, damn, bro, do I hop on YouTube? Do I start going hard for my niggas? Like keep the niggas that even got me to this position? Or do I just get back and focus on the music like I had set in my mind to begin with? I've been telling them niggas that since day one, so it ain't like I switched up on my niggas. My music turned this fuck right now, boy. That's, I be getting the most streams I ever got. You know what I'm saying? But then again, hey, my music was popping and my YouTube was popping at one point. I didn't give a f and niggas can't say I fell out this shit. It's a difference when a motherfucker fell out. Like when he's sitting over here going hard every day. New video out, new video out, and ain't nobody watching. You fell out. But when I get off this bitch, log off. How the fuck did I feel? Nigga, I logged off. Nigga, I fell back. I didn't fall off. I got off. I got off. You feel me? Like, it's not the same shit. My nigga, my music turned up. My Instagram turned up, verified and some more shit. How the fuck did I fuck up? You know what I'm saying? It ain't too many people that say that, but I'm just saying that for the motherfuckers who be like, oh, you fell off, just stop. Bro, shut the fuck up, nigga. Follow you. I got some you can follow off. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's Paul, no homo, but you get it, because you don't want to fall off, money. You feel me? But anyway, I don't even know what I want to do, bro. I don't know if I want to come on in here and turn up and get back to what I was doing, because like I said, I'm not a rapper, bro. I'm not a. YouTuber, bro, I'm a hustler, bro. You feel me? Like I said, if you make money, sign me up, my nigga. I don't care what, it's, what it is, bro. If you make money and it's something that I'm interested in, sign me up. I take that back. I do care what it is. But if you make money and it sound like something that I want to do when I'm interested in, sign me up. I ain't no dumbass. You can't come at me with no millions and some shit that I don't want to do. <sighs> it's not me, my nigga. You feel me? Like, and I'm down show not finna go against me for no. You feel me? Like, I'm not type, like I said, I'm not finna sign to no label. And then, the motherfuckers just be picking me up like I'm an option whenever they ready to holler at me. Psst. Psst. We better record my damn vocals and put it and install it in another nigga because other than that, you won't be getting my thoughts and my lyrics. Nah, Psst. fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather do this shit the boss way because on YouTube, bro, I'm gonna tell you something about YouTubers, bro. Some shit you probably need to know. These niggas make more than rappers. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, bro. These niggas make more than rappers and they their own boss. Like, look, I ain't even knocking no rapper because like, that's what I'm trying to get on. You know what I'm saying? But as you, I'm, I'm, I be thinking about it. I'm a rapper, right? I come post 10 million, 100 million, whatever you got, right? I feel you. It's your shit because I know how I feel to go hard and then a motherfucker give you some money because you earned that, bro. You feel me? It's like it's like a, it's like getting all your paychecks in advance. Like motherfuckers be knocking rappers talking about, oh, that ain't need this money. Hey, she gotta pay that back for sure. I feel like because that's what I'm finna get on. But think about it. You got a job right now, right? You get paid every Friday. Instead of getting paid every Friday, we gonna take everything you make this year and give it to you right now. And then you just work the rest of the year for us without getting paid every Friday. You know what I'm saying? So instead of getting that check every Friday, we gonna add all your every Fridays up and give it to you at one time. And then at the end of the you just work every day to the end of the year. That's what, that's what a rapper do, right? So when they on that post now, they have money and shit, that's their money. They just working, they gotta work for free now, basically. And them niggas gonna make their, you feel me? Like, mo, it's like, it's like interest, you feel me? But that ain't even the only thing to it. Bro, these motherfuckers literally just be like, come on, bro, like, they, they holler at you when they want to. You feel me? Bro, I'm not that type of nigga, bro. I'm not that type of nigga, bro. I, I'm telling you, like, I'm gonna take everything personal. I like being my own boss, nigga. Like, when I hopped on YouTube, bro, ain't nobody telling me when to post but me and y'all niggas. You feel me? And then at the end of the day, I'm gonna post when I wanna post. Like, you make your own moves on here. Them niggas make more money than rappers, too. I guarantee you, bro. I, bro, I guarantee you. I don't know by now. YouTube on some bullshit. Like, I don't know what the hell they got going on. But, it's niggas on here that make way more than rappers, my nigga. Like, motherfuckers be making rappers sign for a million, my nigga. I know YouTubers right now making 400k a month. Ace Family, damn, they probably didn't touch the million in one month. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it depends. You gotta have that mindset. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a star, bro. You feel me? You a star. It depends on your mindset. Like, I'm not an artist. I'm not a this. I'm a star, my nigga. A star is somebody that can do every... Like, I'm a star, bro. That ain't shit I can't shine in, nigga. I'm like, tch. You feel me? Like, see yourself the same shit. Don't get on here and hate. Oh, he think he a star. 
Bro, you got some weird shit in your blood. If that's how you think, my nigga, you a star, bro. Do what the fuck you want. You feel me? But anyway, I just had to chop in with y'all nigga, let y'all niggas know what I've been on. It ain't like I just fell off the face of the earth. So I'm like, shit, what I want to do, bro? Because I am, I am sexy as hell. Like, I could get on her and make some video for y'all niggas females and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, keep rapping. So do I make videos for the females and my niggas? Because I know you, bro, you bro, in there downloading my video right now, bro. You wondering why her showers take a little longer, my niggas, because she looking at me, bro. I ain't even got to tell you that shit. You feel me? Do I make some video? Keep rapping? I don't know, bro, because I really ain't even got time. I ain't gonna lie. That rap shit turn. But them niggas take too long, bro. I know damn well it don't take this long to turn up, bro. I'm supposed to be on somebody's billboard right now. I'm keep realistic with you, like. It don't take that long to turn up, bro. Niggas just be on bullshit, like. Like, my pocket shit, bro. Come on, bro. I went in a Miri's, bro. Like, come on, bro. Hey, hey, hey. We ain't talking about the bag right now. Like, I'm talking about turning up. Like, my shit's supposed to be turning up. Bro, I'm harder than, t bro, half of these niggas out. And I put that on my life. Oh, God, bro. If I had a chance to sit right here from line, and they say, if we match a nigga song right now, and, and your shit trash, more trash than all 10 of these niggas, you got to take your heart out and die. Yeah, I hop in that bitch, put me in. Let's go, sign me up, nigga. Connect me. Nigga, I'm, going, I'm, I'm, I'm harder than these niggas, bro. For real. Like, for real, my nigga. I'm not even hating, bro. I'm harder than these niggas. You nigga don't be talking about shit, but bullshit anyway. I'm harder than these niggas. For sure. I'm saying that shit with the most cockiest. I'm harder than these niggas in the most humblest way. For real. Like, y'all niggas know this, bro. My core supporters know this. We'll turn up on these niggas. Like, any day, all that shit these niggas be rapping about gonna get old. You feel me? Like, like, and a lot of, like I'm saying, Polo G, I'm gonna keep it realistic, bro. That boy gonna be around forever. <laughs> that boy harder than a bitch. Like, he, his shit got substance, bro. Like, he can rap about bullshit and he can hop on some. Like, when I seen that nigga remix Tupac, I'm like, bro, I knew he finna run it. You can't hop on no Tupac beat. That's disrespectful if you hop on that shit on some trash shit. You better not hop on bro beat and say nothing by the perk and say nothing by no cut, bro. I'm telling you, your career over. That boy ran that hoe. Like, that boy gonna be around this hoe forever. I didn't nigga call as fuck. Like, I really feel like that's probably one of the only niggas that's really, you know what I'm saying? I didn't call as fuck. But anyway, y'all let me know something, bro. Hop in the comment, turn up, cause we could turn up. I could turn the city up, bro. Like, what y'all need trying to do? But we gotta do something more than reactions if I do get on here, bro. Or do y'all want, bro, fuck that rap shit. Like, that shit cool and all, bro, but I ain't even got time. I'm gonna do my shit the boss way, man. I'm gonna make my music game do whatever the fuck I do. You feel me? Doing business and what we doing, then I already showed me I'm not going to no label. Fuck that. You feel me? But other than that, we gonna continue to turn up, bro. So y'all niggas let me know. Let me get a live ass thumbnail, because I know you be probably like, damn, bro, Cat ain't post whatever what he been at. You know what I'm saying? She gonna see my thumbnail and then she got to go change her panties or some shit. So I ain't gonna lie. Ladies, you might wanna go to the pool when you watch this or your boyfriend gonna break up with you, because he gonna see that puddle. You know what I'm saying? So let me get right, you know what I'm saying? Just something light or some shit. Then I got the Uggs on dick for you. Yeah, and then I got I got your size too. What size you wear? I know you want some Uggs. You probably think that's the same shoe. It ain't the same shoe, baby. It's not the same shoe, baby. I can't pull three. Motherfucker don't come with three feet. If you come with three feet, you need you need you need to get rid of that bitch. She got three feet. She got to go. 